Well, happening right now, the city of Benicia is trying to figure out what started a massive fire over the weekend. The city's pier was severely damaged. Cronon's Charles Clifford is there with a look at the progress. How is it going out there? Yeah. Well, it's slow going. Uh, right now, fire crews of the city are trying to assess the damage uh, and figure out how this fire started. Pretty dramatic fire from over the weekend uh, here in Benicia. You could see it from miles away. Let's go ahead and take a look at some video of what the scene looked like on Saturday. Now, this fire started around 1220 in the afternoon at the Amports Port Terminal uh, here in Benicia. This is private property. It was burning out on a pier. Initially, it was burning near a large silo and a ship. So there was a four alarm response. Fire crews from Benicia, Solano County, Napa, Contra Costa County, and also fire boats from San Francisco, Oakland. A few others came here to assist. Now, it took the better part of a day. They worked overnight Saturday into Sunday to bring it under control. Now, since then, uh, they've been trying to figure out how this fire started, assess the damage. Also, they're concerned about debris getting out into the water, so they're going to deploy about 3,000 feet of booms around this area to hopefully contain any debris and also any contamination, keep it, try to keep it from getting into the water. The Coast Guard is asking uh, boaters to avoid this area altogether. They say there could be wood and debris out in the water that could pose a danger. Also, Solano County is monitoring the air in the area. Fortunately, we've had these strong winds, which they say have uh, dissipated any pollution or any particulate matter from this fire. So they're not too concerned about uh, a danger to the neighborhood from uh, leftover smoke or anything like that. Now, we've reached out to Solano County uh, and Benicia trying to get some more details on the cleanup and, uh, you know, exactly what started this fire. But so far, the exact cause remains under investigation. But for now, in Benicia, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Charles, just a quick question. We know that the Valero area, those tanks, do we have any idea if this is going to affect gas supply? Uh, so the uh, silo here, they refer to it as a petroleum uh, silo, but we don't know exactly what was in there. This is not the large Chevron refinery or some of the other refineries uh, like across the bay over in um, uh, over in Contra Costa County. So at this point, uh, unclear if that will have any sort of impact on gas prices. Teresa? Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Charles.